Pisces, hi. I'm here to do your collective reading. This is actually going to be a timeless reading. So whenever you um, come across this video is when you're meant to see it. Hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. I know I am. So, went to the store and found some hot apple cider. And I'm so excited because it is so good. And it's hot. It's hot. So into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us. All negativity that surrounds us. And all fears that limit us. So it is. Anybody sending any black magic? Hoojo, boojo, juju. Towards my Piscean collective or myself. Please return that shit to sender. Alright. So spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading. This is going to be a timeless reading for the sign of Pisces. All right. Sorry if you guys hear the sirens out there. All right. Here we go. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What is going on? So sorry. I think that'll work. All right. So let's get some messages. Messages for Pisces, please. Let's do four single jumping cards. Give me a storyline for the Pisces Collective that will be watching this video. Give me a timeline. Give me a storyline. Accelerated motion. To me, this is like the star card in the tarot. So something here is going to be moving forward. And it's going to be... I'm getting like the speed of light. Okay, this is going to happen really fast. Either something that you're working on is going to take off. Something here is destiny. Stars are also, also you know, what's written in the stars. Your destiny. So I feel like you're moving towards your path, your higher calling. Crown chakra, damn. All right, so your seventh chakra, which is located at the top of your at the top of your head. Okay, they call it what? The thousand petaled lotus flower or something. The receiver of light, the receiver of information. Okay, for your spirit. Give me two more. I'll actually read that from the book because it says it much better than I can. Um, two more cards for the sign of Pisces collective who will be watching this. We're only doing single cards, but, um, sacral chakra is, <laughs> it relates to like your testes and your ovaries. All right. Your sexual drive, your, yeah, anyways, then we have memories of love and spiritual union. So you could be, um. Connecting with the soulmate with memories of love. I feel like either this is from a past life or this could be from this life. Just maybe somebody from your past coming back. Be careful. This person is also very um, passionately driven towards you. But I do feel like it is some type of a spiritual bond or spiritual union there. That might be coming back around. All right. Give me two more for Pisces. New beginnings, authority, and choose wisely. So, Pisces, you're having some type of a new beginning or many new beginnings. I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons. You're stepping out into the world. Putting on that brave face, all right? You're showing signs of strength. You could be your own boss. You could be um, a father. You could be, potentially, you could be a mother. But I feel like you have some type of an authoritative role, whatever that may be to you. Maybe you're a doctor, okay? You got an authoritative role. Maybe you're a boss of some sort, whatever it is. There's also something that you need to choose wisely. Hmm. All right, so let's go off of this. Let's get some tarot. 
see where this is going. So Spirit, what can you tell me? Three cards. What can you tell me about this accelerated motion for Pisces? Because this is all about you. Knight of Swords flipped out in the reverse. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This, the first thought I got is somebody's lies. Somebody could have been communicating very harsh, untruthful, spreading gossip, being um, like a dominant. Somebody here was trying to like, Come at you. Okay. <laughs> uh, I just got a picture in my head of a little chihuahua and there's like this big ass dog. <laughs> and it was so funny because the background was like down in Compton, California. It was like this big ass dog standing there, this little chihuahua like running up all crazy like wah, 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 wah. and then he like skittishly like backs up when the dog just like barely even flinches. That's what I'm getting with this. I'm getting like somebody came blaring and talking a bunch of shit like Emotionally unstable, communi like mm, manipulative when they communicate. Don't tell the truth or tell partial truth. Somebody here came in, and I feel like this is pushing you forward, Pisces. This bullshit that came in or is going to come in is going to push you forward at an accelerated speed. It's almost like karma. We are in justice season right now, so if you see this video during justice season, this could be something that is already happening. Who knows? Okay, let's get two more. What is this accelerated motion? One more. King of Swords Reverse. Um, more Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This accelerated motion, too, is also kind of like the star card in the tarot, so that would be Aquarius. Both these cards are air. Okay. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But again, what I was saying, whatever this communication is that came in, somebody here is like emotionally manipulating. Com they communicate. They manipulate. You get the fucking point, right? Okay. All right. <laughs> somebody here is like a little chihuahua that barks up the wrong fucking tree. Like, wah, 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 wah. you know, and you got to like, and then someone just flinches and they're just like, okay, okay, okay. I feel like this person is very strong, very authoritative, but they're very fucking manipulative. This person could also work in the government or have some type of like legal background or something to that nature. With this king of swords, sometimes this can represent like somebody in the government or legal or justice system in some form or fashion. You know, a cop, a lawyer, a judge, a prison guard. Something. <clears throat> but this person is very mean with their words. It's like abuse of power. Abuse of power and authority. What's up? Okay, that's fine. Just throw it away. Yeah. All right. All right, one more card. I feel like karma's going to come around real quick for somebody. I feel like somebody here is being a fucking asshole and abusing their power and saying all the wrong things in all the wrong ways. And this is going to be pushing you forward, Pisces, at an accelerated motion. There's some type of destiny here at play. Nine of Pentacles. You're going to be able to be single, stable, good on your own. You're going to be able to separate from whoever, whatever this is. This is a very grounded pre-empress energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This woman is able to take care of herself, okay? Nine pentacles is right before ten of pentacles. And it's right after the eight of pentacles. You've been putting in the work. Your, your dedication has been recognized. You are the nine of pentacles. You are abundant, okay? Pre-empress energy. Okay, <clears throat> Oh, yeah, I was going to read this one. Crown Chakra. So. Color violet sound. None or om can be used. Element is thought. Gland is your pineal gland. Keywords is I know. All right, your dome piece, your crown chakra. This crown is located at the top of the head and has been called the thousand petal lotus. Or, I was right. Wow, the thousand petal 
lotus or the receiver of light. The chakra is the center of your link with the universe, the infinite, and your higher consciousness. The connection between wisdom and spiritual insight. The crown center is the area where ethereal light and energy are received and then dispersed throughout the aura for a total well-being. To balance this chakra, I find that meditation, breathwork, yoga, spiritual healing, acupuncture, and color therapy work best. When properly aligned, your crown chakra will expand to the point where it is possible to access and tap into the deepest sources of wisdom. Damn. Tapped in, okay? Pisces, you are tapped in. You are, you're working with the stars. You're working with the planets here. You're working with the universe. You're on your path, a destined path. This is written in the stars. You could be a fucking star, Pisces. All right, either that or you're just... Everybody looks at the stars. All right? I fly with the stars in the sky. I'm no longer trying to survive. Who's that, Nicki Minaj? Don't worry about me and who I hire. I get what I desire. It's my empire. And yes, I call the shots. I am the empire. Or something like that. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> that was good, though. Pisces, Pisces. What do you got for this crown chakra? Why is this highlighted? Why is this highlighted for Pisces? Ten of pentacles. Exactly what I'm saying. This shit is fucking destined. All right. This shit is abundant. Ten of pentacles. You went from nine of pentacles, Pisces, and then your lotus flower just bust wide open. Okay. You were, you were able to see some type of inner wisdom or guidance. And then look what happens. Bam. That money. Are you all right? Yeah. Okay. That inner, that inner, uh, I don't know what I was saying. Let me just stop. Sorry, that got exciting. Oh my gosh, I could do this all day. All right, this crown chakra. Give me more on why this is highlighted. Give me more. Why is this highlighted for Pisces today? Why is this highlighted? King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Because you've been loving, you've been nurturing, you could be giving, showing self-love. You're standing in your power. You're in control of your emotions. You have a lot of deep emotions, Pisces, but you are you have mastered the control of these. So say in the past you could have cried. I know I did. I was a fucking crybaby. Um, yeah, I cried a lot. But you know what? I was I was flooded with emotions, you know? So when things get flooded, what comes out? You know, Pisces waterworks, getting all emotional and shit. <laughs> okay, Pisces, I feel like you mastered it. Whatever was in the past, it is in the past now because this is your future, all right? You're very loving, very nurturing, very kind. You're very, very intuitive. All right, you have a lot of love to give. And from the looks of it, you also have a lot of money too, so... Or a lot of assets, all right? Give me more on this crown chakra. Why is it highlighted for Pisces? Judgment. You could be receiving some type of judgment or like a payout. Um, this could be like an inheritance as well. Okay, something that had to go through the court system or the legal system. Life insurance. Um could be a stimulus check could just be your own fucking check on friday i don't know but either way i feel like you're no i feel like this is bigger than that i feel like this is this could be a child support check okay this could be whatever this is you're going to receive some type of income because you are being watched over okay this is an angel the angels are giving this to you they are lining they recognize your dedication you've chose to stay loving you've gotten a gotten your emotions in control you are now unlocking how do you say it like you are unlocking different dimensions here your crown chakra is opening up and you are being rewarded somebody here could also want to reconcile there could be a scorpio involved as well um so let's keep going what is this new beginnings new beginnings ace of cups what the fuck? Pisces. 
I just asked, what is this new beginning? It's the Ace of Cups. Brand new love. With this judgment card here, this can t mean reconciliation. So maybe you have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio coming towards you wanting to reconcile. This person could be rich as fuck. But this is also your reading. So I feel like this is you, Pisces, who is about to be paid. And somebody's going to want to reconcile and have some type of new beginning with you. That's how I'm seeing this. But could could be wrong. Page of Cups falling out. Somebody wants to apology. apology. Somebody wants to apologize. Express some type of love gesture here. Give me one more on this new beginnings. The Wheel of Fortune because karma. Okay. This person is coming back around. I don't know what's going to happen here, but um, whether you decide to take this or not, this person could come around new and transformed in a brand new you know, after being through some cycles and some lessons here at this Wheel of Fortune, somebody here also could have, quite frankly, came into a great deal of fortune. This is what this means, you know. Somebody here could have, you know, like I was saying earlier, a trust, a deed, um, you know, an inheritance to a home or a lump sum of money or whatever this is. Maybe somebody got in a car accident and they're getting paid out for it. Take it as it resonates, guys. But I feel like somebody here is going to want to reconcile. This person may see you as somebody who's very loving and has a lot of money. Like maybe this person thinks you're wealthy, you're a good catch. Or this is a new person, but you have this apology. It doesn't have to be an apology. I feel like somebody here is just going to maybe offer you out for dinner or say, hey, call you up and be like, I like you. Somebody's going somebody's gonna to express something to get this wheel to turn. And it looks like new love. Maybe somebody's third eye is opening up here. But this wheel is definitely turning and it's in the upright. And this is your reading in regards to new beginnings. You're about to have a brand new beginning, Pisces. And there's somebody's cup who's overflowing for you. You could also have a separate person coming in with an apology. This could go a lot of ways, but you get the point, right? So let's move on to authority. ace of swords on the bottom so there could be somebody in 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 some type of an authority to you pisces or this could be you coming in with some type of truth and clarity or you could just be standing in your power standing strong like a boss like an authoritative figure all right spirit tell me about this authority for pisces the star Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Look, Aquarian energy. You, <laughs> you're about to be your own boss. If you're working on your own business, starting your own business, this shit is, this is, this is you, Pisces. This is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be your own boss. You're supposed to, this could be some, something, you know, also in the spiritual, you could be a very spiritual person. You're taking charge of your own destiny, of your own life. You're working with the universe. You're being guided on the right path. And this is going to set you free. Shoot. Okay. Give me more on this authority. Just when you think there's no more good cards on the deck and one falls out, right? All right. What is this authority? What is this authority? All right, what is this authority? Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away emotionally. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, towards success and victory. The world card, Eight of Cups. Somebody here walked away from their success. Or this is you, Pisces. The world and the star. You're going to be... Damn. Pisces. The world and the star. You're about to do some big shit. 
You could be a public speaker. You could be like a gymnast or what am I hearing? Like the Olympics, you know? Or maybe you're like, you play sports and you travel the world. You're going to do something here. You could sing. Your name is about to be known all the fuck over. You are taking charge. Authority clarified with the world, the star and eight of cups. I feel like this eight of cups is, I feel like you're walking away from your emotions and you're going towards success. You're walking away from your emotions and going towards your success. Damn, Pisces. Choose wisely. Give me more information. What this? Okay. Three of swords reversed. This is what they're telling you to choose wisely about. You're going to have somebody, I def strongly feel somebody from your past is coming back in. This is somebody who broke your heart, put you in a third party situation that you have had to heal from. This person may be coming back. Choose wisely. So one, one of these options is to stay healed. Stay out of a third party situation. This is two cards. I'm not taking it. But yeah, two of swords, nine of wands. Yeah. This shit only left you can feel confused and feeling like you've been through a day on battle zone. Like, fuck that. Okay? Choose wisely. Yep. The lovers. This could be a Gemini. This could be somebody who you're really passionate about. But this person put you in a third party. Broke your heart. All right? Or this is you need to choose wisely between healing and a Gemini. Or a Libra. Or a soulmate. You know? These hands are pointing different directions. You got healing from a third party heartbreak. Or this passionate lover. You know. Give me one more that Pisces needs to. Give me one more of these choices. Maybe I should pick five cards because there's five hands. You may have five different choices or have five different options. Death card could be a Scorpio. You, you got it, or you can choose to transform a situation. You can choose to heal and transform. Put an end to this heartbreak. Give me one more. Page of Swords. Stop trying to get information on somebody. Maybe you gave up looking into a situation. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This could be you need to choose wisely because there's somebody here that's spying who is younger than you or childlike or just communicates very immaturely. This could be a Page of Swords. So somebody here is spying. Or they're vindictive right give me one more the devil pisces this is fucking simple like these are your cards to choose from this is what you got to choose from healing you can heal and transform a situation choose to end it we got scorpio libra energy up here on top and then we got Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini in the bottom. This is someone who's immature, communicates immaturely. In the reverse. And then you got this devil over here. This motherfucker's on fire. This person possibly has sex addictions or, you know, likes lustful situations. Could be with younger people, or this person could have a younger person, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, that they are involved with romantically, but it's like obsessive and it's toxic, sex only, there's no love, and this person's hella fucking immature, whoever it is, sorry, I'm gonna just call it like I see it, Pisces, choose wisely, I mean, it's not that difficult, heal and transform the situation, because this other bougie shit. I feel like you got some big shit coming in over here. The world and the star card under the authority card. Once you walk away from this bullshit, all this bullshit, you got the wheel of fortune. You got the ace of cups, new love. Somebody is coming in to an apologize, but that's because they see you doing well. They think you've got some fucking money because you're a motherfucking star and you're doing your thing. And you have and you took the time to heal with the star car. You gave back to yourself self-love. Okay, you're very caring, loving. 
Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're good on your own. And whoever this fucker is, is probably this fucker. Sorry, and it was the only card left in the deck to come out. Look at this shit. We got the page. Sorry, guys. I'm getting all of my feels in this reading. You got the page of wands, or the page of, page of whatever. Page of swords reversed. Knight of swords reversed. And the king of swords reversed. What's next? The emperor reversed? Like, whoever this fucker is can put on a lot of faces. They're very manipulative with communication. Very mean, very cold, very cunning, untruthful. But all they're doing is fucking themselves. Because you're, you're still, their assholeness is about to, to push you forward at a, at a, like, the speed of light, okay? So tell them to keep, keep doing it. Keep being messy, all right? You weren't going to choose them anyways, right, Pisces? You weren't going to choose this motherfucker anyways, right? <laughs> you got places to go and people to see by his ease. Okay, that's what I got for you. If you like this reading, smash a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.